Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Topic is about diabetic retinopathy. So what is it? So welcome to our informative session on diabetic retinopathy. If you or someone care about your deals with the condition of eye and uh, eye related uh, issue of retinopathy, you have come to the right place. In the next few minutes, we will explore crucial insights and actionable strategy that can help to manage symptoms of diabetic retinopathy and effectively safeguard your vision. Stick with us, stay with us till the video. We also have a AA video uh, at the end. We will let you know when it will start. So please be with us. Please uh, understand the video completely. Okay. So we observe daily habits to adopt when to seek urgent assistance uh, about doctor. You will also find uh, knowledge about uh, uh, essentials for your eye health. Let us start with a brief overview of diabetic retinopathy. So what is it? This is a condition which arises from damage to delicate blood vessels in the retina due to diabetes. Mostly 90% of the cases are due to diabetes. There are some cases which are also due to non-diabetics. It could be due to high blood pressure also. In the early stages, you may experience no symptoms at all, which is why monitoring is vital. As it progresses, signs such as blurred vision, floaters, dark spots, and sudden vision losses may occur. Becoming aware of these symptoms early allows for timely interventions and remember, early detection can significantly help to improve your eyesight. One of the most effective strategies is to monitor your symptoms and maintain a system log. Daily tracking of any changes in your vision, whether it is blurriness, new floaters or flashes of light, especially when you are driving your car in the night, please keep a note. And it is very crucial to consider using a simple checklist or digital notes on your phone to record your observations. And ensure you bring this log to every eye appointment. Make sure if you are diabetic or with high blood pressure to go to doctor every six months to one year for eye specialist for an appointment to get this test done. This small step can help to lead a more informed discussion about your eye health with your healthcare provider. Please note, no doctor will diagnose your retinopathy without actually being there. Controlling systematic risk factor is another vital part of managing diabetic retinopathy. Consistent blood sugar control plays a critical role. At the same time, it is also important to control your blood pressure. Work closely with your diabetics care team to establish and maintain appropriate AC1, HB1, AC targets. Additionally, keep an eye on other factors like blood pressure and cholesterol levels. High levels of these can further exacerbate retinal damage. Making medications and lifestyle adjustments and equally important as a glucose management. 
it's very simple that whenever every year like the way if you are wearing a specs or even if you are going to a your physician ask him whether is it a time to go for retina test they will advise you and you can visit a doctor for retinal screening and it is very essential as well adults with this diabetes uh, with the diabetes should undergo annual or more frequent eye exams based on disease progression early treatment in response to screening results can prevent significant vision losses i myself is a diabetic for last 30 years and i wear specs and i keep going to doctor and as a part of normal eye test doctor also advise me to go with retina test and a retina test will be done only if it is necessary by a special doctors on i so please uh, do not get worried every time they will not charge you too much money for retinal test unless it is needed they will not do uh, detailed test for retino pati uh, option of empowering whether it is a anti vex injections to mitigate swelling or laser therapy for sealing or leaking the blood vessels is conducted if you are diagnosed with a diabetic retinopathy each method has its own benefits and uh, doctor will find out what is the best method for you it could also have potential benefit don't hesitate to ask your ophthalmologist mologist and uh, eye specialist about your best options for your circumstances at home strategies can enhance your quality of life as well as as well ensure your environment is well fit with high contrast for easy navigation during daily activities also consider using tools like handheld magnifiers or smartphone accessibility features engaging with low vision rehabilitation services early can provide you with a important techniques helping you to maintain independence and finally no when to seek immediate medical attention so guys along with this i have attached a, a video which will give you clear de- details about what are the uh, options and uh, how you can take treatment for diabetic retinopathy please do not miss this video and a video completely go through it like share and subscribe to my channel wish you good luck hello and welcome if you or someone close to you is facing the challenges of diabetic retinopathy you've landed in the right place this guide is designed to equip you with practical actionable advice to help manage symptoms and safeguard your precious sight we'll discuss critical signs to monitor establish simple daily practices and know when it's time to seek urgent care let's dive in and empower ourselves to protect our vision diabetic retinopathy arises from damage to the delicate blood vessels in the retina a condition linked to diabetes in its initial phases it may go unnoticed offering no symptoms at all however as the condition progresses you might begin to experience blurred vision the presence of floaters dark spots or even sudden vision loss Recognizing these symptoms early is vital as timely detection plays a pivotal role in effective treatment and management. To stay proactive, begin by monitoring changes in your vision each day. Track any blurriness, the emergence of new floaters, flashes of light or dark areas. Maintain a simple checklist or use your phone's notes feature to document these changes. Bring this log with you to all your eye appointments. It can be an invaluable tool for your healthcare provider. Engage with the community by commenting below. If you already keep a vision log or wish to receive a printable template for easy tracking, controlling systemic risk factors is a foundational step in managing diabetic retinopathy. Start with your blood sugar levels, maintain consistent glucose control to slow disease progression. Collaborate closely with your diabetes management team to determine appropriate A1C targets. Additionally, managing blood pressure and cholesterol is equally crucial as unchecked levels can exacerbate retinal damage. Ensure you are following prescribed medications alongside lifestyle adjustments 
to bolster your overall eye health. Emphasizing the importance of regular eye care, commit to annual or more frequent retinal screenings, particularly as you progress through different stages of diabetes. Early treatment can significantly mitigate the risk of vision loss. Familiarize yourself with treatment options provided by professionals such as anti-VGF injections, laser therapy, or vitrectomy for advanced cases. Each treatment comes with its unique advantages and possible side effects, so discussing risks and anticipated outcomes with your ophthalmologist is essential. Lastly, explore at-home strategies that can greatly improve your daily living. Ensure your environment is well lit and use high contrast labels for essential tasks. Consider utilizing handheld magnifiers, screen readers, and phone accessibility features. Engaging with low vision rehabilitation services can teach you effective strategies and introduce devices that will promote independence. In cases of sudden vision loss or an alarming increase in floaters, seek immediate medical assistance as these may set up